Hi guys, so a lot of you wanted to know the difference between crystalline and amorphous solids. Basically, um, all solids have this in common. The atoms are vibrating in place. The difference between a crystalline solid or a crystal and an amorphous solid is just how regular the pattern is that the atoms are sort of frozen into. So in a crystalline solid, they form repeating patterns like you see with these like almost circles on the left hand side where each atom has a very specific place and each crystal that's formed looks just like each crystal next to it. In an amorphous solid, it, it looks sort of like it might be a crystal structure, but it's not perfect. It's sort of warped in places and some stuff is out of place. And that's, they're both solids, so they're both frozen, so the particles are just vibrating in place. But amorphous solids have more of a, what we think of as a liquidy structure where the particles are not as orderly. But they're both considered solids because the particles are frozen in place. Crystalline solids are things that form crystals, like metals all form crystals. Um, lots of things that you think of, like salts and rocks and things like that, minerals are, are crystals. Amorphous solids are things like glass or wax things that you think of as almost like soft solids, even though glass isn't really particularly soft, but anything that you don't think of as forming a particular crystal shape would be an amorphous solid. Okay, see you guys in class.